Today we are going to learn about the uh, modular architecture using the Flutter. So what actually is the uh, modular software architecture? Modular architecture is a set of the functions that uh, do not directly depend on the each other. They can communicate and interact, but each of them remain easily replaceable. So the main thing is that they are easily replaceable. And according to the Wikipedia, you can see a uh, modular programming is a software design technique that emphasizes on the separating the functionality of the program into the independent interchangeable module uh, such that it contain everything necessary to execute only one aspect of the desired functionality. So if you have a functionality like the authentication, uh, like let's say uh, a setting or the profile or the products or the card, so you can create the module out of, out of it and it is uh, independent and also interchangeable. So let's take a look on to the smaller image over here and uh, there each one which is of the monolithic and another one each of the modular so if you are using a monolithic approach we have a single image which basically means a single application over here but if you are using a modular so you can see that we collect the smaller pieces of the module to make a single image over here similarly this is a single application but we create a smaller piece out of it. We collect a smaller piece out of it. We interconnect each of them to create a single application out of it. So this is a modular design as you can see over here. And this is a monolithic which we usually create. And also let us take a look on to the uh, advantages and the uh, disadvantages of our uh, modular architecture. So the first one you can see that allow each module to be written separately without having to know code of each other. So this is a really helpful when you are working with the larger team and requires the documentation to be thorough and well communicated. So this is the disadvantage over here. And it also has the faster deployment time due to the part being split across the team member and problem handle in the chunk, which basically means that if you have a larger team, let's say three, four, five team member in your or in your app, uh, when you are creating an application, so you can create or develop your application faster because you have a more team member and you can split the tasks more easily. And designed to be used primarily for the larger system and not effective unless use on the large scale so this is the disadvantages over here and modules allow for the greater flexibility of the overall program so you when you're using a modular architecture you have greater flexibility over here and you can uh, add and replace the module right so it's more uh, flexible over there more effective when uh, when several people are sharing the work so if you have a uh, a lot of the team member in your uh, project so it's more helpful but if you are just working as a solo developer or just a one or two a dev at a time so it may be a bit difficult to manage the uh, modular architecture over there and the individual modules are highly reusable and this cuts down the cost and reduces time taken on the uh, future projects which basically means that the uh, once you have a modular architecture, this module can be easily uh, deattached or the attached. So once you have written that particular module, it can be reused on the multiple project, and it increases the uh, program uh, complexity. So that's correct. So once you are going to set up the modular architecture, it is more complex than the regular application that we are going to build. And also the bugs are less frequent and easier to detect as they will exist in the module that they originate from. So once you have a smaller chunk of or a smaller piece of your application which we separate to a smaller module so you have a less bugs because once you have a smaller unit you can easily manage write the test cases right. 
and let's go on or let's move on to the uh, another one over here that is the uh, project structure so basically this is the project structure that uh, we are going to create when you are going to set up the modular architecture and you may be quite familiar if you are following my course already how we usually create the project structure so this is your main project we have a lib and we have the code common and the features so inside these features we usually have like the home product card setting and all of those stuff inside these particular features but now we will be separating into our different uh, module or smaller uh, packages so we'll create the one new folder that will be of the packages and inside these packages we will be adding all of our modules so let's say we have the authentication and this will have the uh, this will be a package and we have the lib inside this we'll have again a feature of the login and the sign up and then we'll have the another package that will be of the home and this will be our feature of our home this was previously on our this particular main project inside the feature and then we'll have a setting and setting will have its own features and we can also create the sub module inside this particular uh, module or the package. So let's say you have the uh, profile that is just a sub module for this particular setting because we are just going to use this particular uh, module and that we are going to use only from the setting. We don't require it from the uh, like the home or from the authentication or from the main project. So once you uh, have this kind of the requirement, which only requires to be in the specifically on the uh, that particular module, so we'll create the sub module on that particular module itself. So we will create a profile which is only going to be used inside of our setting module over here. And let's take a look on the diagram over here and uh, that will be of our uh, main app so this will be our main app application and we'll create the multiple module or the packages over here we'll create the common and this common will be our uh, whole all of our dependencies so we will add all of our dependencies to this particular common package or this module so we can reuse that dependency on our core home product and any other uh, feature that we create later on and it will hold the reusable component mixing extension all of the const and a string file and all of those stuff that will be commonly said between all of our other packages or the module over here and with the core uh, module we will have the database network services env files and all of those stuff will place inside of our Core module over here and then we'll have the other modules uh, you can see we will have our home module and that will be our feature home and we'll have a product that will be a feature of our product we'll create the card module and then we'll have the setting module and inside the setting module we'll create the another sub module that will be of the profile so if you take a look on this particular arrow over here which is on the uh, blue color over here this is pointing to the uh, setting over here and this will be only included on our setting over here and uh, let's take a look over here and on the main app we will be adding all of our modules so the main app can access the common core home product card setting and all of those modules from the main app so if your main app needs to access the common core home and all of those modules so you should add as a dependency on our main app over here and uh, this core uh, or the common will be added to um, almost all of our the um, packages or the module over here so this common and the core. So core will be related to the network service database and env file so if you require those on your other modules like the home product so we will add the dependency to this and the common commonly said so this arrow is pointing to over here so you can see that uh, we will include that as a dependency on our home and core product and all of the stuff over here 
and uh, I guess you got the point how we will be creating or how we will be separating our module. So previously all of this home product card setting profile was attached to our uh, main app and when we were using our monolithic approach or the monolithic architecture over here since we are trying to follow, follow the so uh, we will try to separate it to a different module a smaller chunk over here so this will help us to easily maintain our application it will be much more reusable so let's try to meet up in the next lecture where we will be uh, figuring out how to separate all of those practically till then have a great day